What is up guys? Welcome back to another video today of the career mode here on FIFA 18. Today's episode actually is going to be an interesting one. If you missed the previous one, we played three games. We had three massive games actually. We kickstarted off with a one defeat to United before we played against Paris Saint-Germain in, of course, uh, the group stage of the Champions League. We ended up winning at the Parc des Princes by a goal to nil and then followed it up with a 1-1 draw against City. So today we're playing as West Ham and then we take on AC Milan and then I'm going to sim that game against Fulham before we have a couple of international games with uh, Brazil and then we'll come back for a few more games in the next episode. So without further ado, we're going to jump straight into it today. Don't want any hesitation and uh, we're just going to get straight into it. I don't really want to wait anymore. So... Let's go, guys. First game of the day against West Ham. I'm actually going to show you the team before we go into this one here because I've had to change it around a little bit. As you can see there, we've gone with Hall, Babaraman, Jorgensen, um, uh, Danny Caricho. I don't know if you say it, uh, if I pronounce it right. Walker Peters. We've got Aqua and Hogg in the whole of the field roles. We've got Hill, Bonaventura, Tottenham, Ince, and, of course, Rashford up front. That's within mind of us having this uh, this game again in the... Um, in the Champions League against Ace Milan. So that's the uh, the sliders that I'm using, of course. In fact, I want to change one person, actually. We're going to bring off Rashford, and we're going to put on Smolov, because I think I'm going to want to play Smolov in the Premier League game. So, yeah, we'll do that change. We'll bring on Smolov, and we'll bring off Rashford, and then Rashford can start against AC Milan. So without further ado, guys, let's get into game one of today and see if we can pick up three points. All right, guys, we are playing at the London Stadium, which, of course, is West Ham's home ground. We'll check out their team on the screen right now. Hernandez is up front for them. They've got Obiang Kiate holding. They've got Pereira in goal. Kazar actually at left back. Felipe at centre back. Sam Byram. It's a weird team from West Ham. We'll see how we play anyways, guys. I don't want to write them off because, we, of course, we can't do that. Um, we did lose and uh, get a draw in the previous episode in terms of our Premier League games. And I haven't played FIFA in terms of controlling the whole team in a couple of days because I've been playing my player career mode in the last couple of hours and I've just not really played too much FIFA in the past few days. So we'll see how much, uh, you know, that affects us. See if we can pick up uh, a victory today. So this is basically just us preparing for the game against AC Milan, I would like to say. I'm I'm kind of in my mind giving up on the Premier League this year, guys. I'm kind of just going to say if we can get top four, that will be fine. Because um, I want to try and focus on getting as far as we possibly can in the Champions League. And then, of course, we can see how we get on once we have more players in the next year. Once we bring in new players as well. Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of giving up. Like, not giving up 100% on the Premier League. I still want to play well and do well, of course. But in terms of, like, the performance right now, I would happily take, like, a top four. Like, if you could give me top four right now, I would happily take that. What on earth was that dive by Hall? He was going to get nowhere near that ball. What is he doing? That's literally the first chance of the game. It's taken 32 minutes to find it, and it's come back off the post. My keeper dived in the most stupid way there as well. That was so weird. Baba Rahman. Bonaventura, edge of the area for us here. Good turn from Bonaventura, gets it into the area, and that's a great sliding tackle from the uh, the West Ham man. And that will take us into halftime. We've been shocking. I haven't created anything. I've had a couple of chances to whip across in, but this far, it's been just horrendous. It really has. The, the last delivery of the balls for me have been so bad. I'm playing really bad FIFA as well. Like, look at that. I had how many people to aim for straight from my kickoff, and I gave it straight to a West Ham player. What is going on? I'm going to get smashed by AC Milan if I don't play very well in that game. And the way I'm playing in this one, it's not good. West Ham have had one chance. They've hit the post. They should probably be winning this. So what is wrong with me today? I need to improve. I ain't going to lie, guys. Right now, I'm really struggling. These passes are not working out at all. Every time I get it, I keep giving the ball away, and it really shouldn't be happening. I'm going to change the formation here. Um, we're going to change to... I'm going to go with a 4-4-2, I think. I think I'm just going to go with a regular 4-4-2 and try and try and see if that's going to make a difference. I don't think it is because the way I'm playing suggests it probably won't. But you never know. Hopefully, maybe somebody can come on and change the game. I'm going to bring on Isaac at the left-hand side like that and we'll, we'll play it with that one. So, Mini on, Isaac on. We're into a 4-4-2 now. Let's see if that can add a little bit to the team and make a difference. These runs off the ball are non-existent. I'm still waiting for these changes to happen, guys, that I did all those minutes ago. Ball still hasn't left the field of play, so I can't make the changes yet. Or rather, the game can't make the changes yet. Um, we need the ball to go out of play at the moment. And I don't want to intentionally put it out because of the fact that there may be a chance in it for me. If I don't do that, Smolov running through. One-on-one -on -one against the defender. Smolov on the ball. Feeds it across the face. A goal! We needed someone to make the run to the near post. Oh, this is outrageous. 13 minutes to go. The changes finally happen. I didn't want to... Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? How? 
He's legit just come on, and I tried to play a 1-2 from the throw-in, and he kicked it out of play. What's going on? Good win back by Aqua, and he's fed Smolov as well. Smolov going through. Smolov! That was a driven shot. I don't care what anybody says. I tap B twice. There is no... Oh, my goodness me. This is one of those days, guys. You know when you play FIFA and just nothing goes your way? This is one of those days. It really is. Three minutes from time. And, and I sent Smolov in behind. One on with the keeper. Tried to do a driven shot. And, of course, it just doesn't register my second button press. And I just sky it anyway. Brilliant. That's the end of the game, guys. It ended up being nil-nil. And it was so boring to play. Literally nothing going our way apart from that small off chance right at the end. Where I just decided I wanted to turn into a goalkeeper and just smash it over the top of the crossbar. Look at those match facts. Just look. What is that? 90 minutes of FIFA and, and, and we end up with one shot. They end up with two. Not a on target. Absolutely brilliant. All growing to 78 rated, which is decent. Means, of course, now... He's getting to the same overall as our other goalkeeper and looking like he could be uh, a long-term long number one. So there you go. Decent growth. We've got Milan coming up in a few days, guys. And they drew their first game against Zenit. Whereas we end up with a victory, of course. But the way we played against uh, West Ham, it's, it's, it's likely that this is going to be a snore fest again. If not, they're probably going to be the ones that end up um, winning this one. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to have to change the team around, of course, and, and try and switch it about so that we have enough players ready and, and fit enough to be able to play and uh, i'll come back to you in a minute once i'm ready to show you the team for that game okay guys so that's the team i'm going to be running for this one against ac milan we've got hideki back in, be in between the sticks smith danny kircho uh holding baba raman aaron moy aqua in spawnaventura rashford and then small up up top in fact i'm going to change the formation actually i want to go with a 4-2-3-1 narrow rather than wide because that's what we are running currently but I feel like the uh, the narrow might work better. Um, so, yeah, let's switch it to that one. See if that works any better in this one. So, AC Milan, the next opponents, guys. Uh, we'll see how we play in this one, I guess. Let's find out. Alrighty, here we go. We're traveling to the San Siro. We've got a big team out. We've got to try our best to come away with something from this game. As you know, we went to uh, the Part of Princes and got something out of that one. So, now it's to the San Siro on our next journey in our European Cup competition. Are we going to get anything out of this one? We'll have to wait and find out. Milan have got a good squad, of course, and this is going to be a really tough affair, this one. They've got quite a uh, good all-round team, is what I, what I uh, would say as well. Bonaventura, I guess, playing against his former club. We'll see how he plays in this one. Hopefully good. So in that way, we can have the greatest, uh, I guess, you know, performance here. We need him to play well, of course. He's one of our star players after joining for 20-something million. So without further ado, let's do this. And there is the Le ground, ladies and gentlemen. San Siro. Haven't played here yet in, in, this, uh, in this series. So we are traveling here. We're going to take on AC Milan, see if we can get the victory done for us. Let's find out. Champions Cup, of course, back in with that, as you can see by the league table. Currently, the first game was a draw between Milan and Zenit. And we ended up with a victory against PSG, as I said. So we can probably afford a draw here and be okay. I mean, as I said, you know, the group stage that we're currently in, it's a very, very tough group. You know, there's no doubting that. So to get out of it is going to be is going to be tough. But I think we might be able to do it. And I'm already seeing this Milan team. And I'm not feeling too confident. Donnarumma, Rodriguez, Benucci, Mustachio, Sanchez. Then you've got Rabiot, Montalivo, Locatelli, Coke, Silva and Felipe Coutinho. Uh-oh. I wasn't expecting it to be that good. But it is that good. So... I don't know what my game plan's going to be for this, guys. Do I sit back and try and counter-attack, or do I just go for it from minute one? Let's find out. Here is Rashford. Got a lot of pace, hasn't he, Marcus Rashford? Looking to use it as well, if he can do. He's got literally no support. Look at this. Look at what I'm having to do with Marcus Rashford to even get a pass off. Oh, my goodness me. Lack of support there was incredible. Smolov, great turn. Smolov, driven shot wide of the post. I've got to be honest. I felt like I was aiming across the goalkeeper. So why he went to the near post, I don't know. But you know what? That was a good opportunity for us. First chance of the game, falling the way of Smolov. Maybe he should have scored that. Maybe it should be 1-0. But the actual chance itself was so hard to, uh, to create. Rashford just ran for so long and nobody got up there with him. The, the support wasn't there. Uh-oh, that's not good. And Silva's in behind here. And it's our goalkeeper who's made the save. Milan with an opportunity of their own. Andre Silva... Snatched at it a little bit, actually. Maybe he should have done better with that one. You can see he's got a little bit more time than he thinks there. Don't particularly like the way he got through so easily, though. One pass from AC Milan, and they were in behind. Aaron Moy 
stood as the man at the near post to try and get this one away. Doesn't need him, though, because our goalkeeper gets the catch sorted. So one chance apiece here. Both teams missing. Baba Rahman to Rashford. This is good. Rashford's got a lot of pace. Gets the cross off as well. Ince is there. Not going to win that header, though. But it's going to come back for Aaron Moy. Moy now has got the pass off to Rashford. Rashford. Where can I go with this one? Still on the ball, Marcus Rashford. Goes to Aramoy with the back heel. Moy to Aqua. Aqua to Ince. Ince looks for Rashford. We'll find him as well. Marcus on the ball again. And it's so hard. Milan are keeping a very tight, tight defensive line here. Smolov looking to turn. Can't get past that man. Gives it all the way back to Aqua. This is hard, guys. I'm trying to build. I'm trying to be as, uh, as much as I can be. Ince through from Bonaventura. And Thomas Ince will give the away side the lead here. The visitors have taken the lead. It is Thomas Ince with the goal, and it is Bonaventura with the setup against his former club. The visiting fans, look at them. They get a trip to the San Siro, they get a victory in Paris, and now they lead here in Italy. It's mind-blowing, absolutely mind-blowing. Credit to Thomas Ince, though, because that was a very, very good finish under pressure. And maybe, you know, Smolov, you know, that's what you need to do, mate, because Ince has just shown you how to finish a move off. Oh, no. Koke in behind, and it's a weak shot from him. It's got to be better. Man, Milan are creating opportunities, and they're on the ball, and I can't get out of my box at the moment. This is dangerous. AC Milan really are piling it on now. Baba Rama win that ball back. Thank you very much. Now, surely he can clear this away. We have got it right away, but Milan... They've turned on the pressure a little bit after going a goal down. They've started uh, to, to build attacks and, and get on the ball a bit more. They're defending a, a lot more aggressively now as well, not allowing me time and space on the ball like they were previously. So that isn't a good look if you're, if you're trying to get a second in the game. But thus far, we, we've dealt with what they've thrown at us. I'm hoping we can continue to do that as we are approaching the halftime whistle now and hopefully we can go in at the break 1-0 up. In small of Bonaventura against his former club. Straight at the goalkeeper. Oh, I was caught in two minds. I thought about going with a driven shot, and then I thought about trying to go back across him. In the end, we went towards the near post, and it's an easy save for Donnarumma. That was a massive opportunity to make the score 2-0. Ince towards Babarama, not the man I wanted it. I wanted it to holding there, actually, on the edge of the area, where you have given it off to Caraccio, that centre-back. Why? Why is it him? Aqua into Bonaventura. Bonaventura, chance. Curling. Never going to be back of the net. That was poor. That was so, so poor. These are the longest three minutes I've ever seen played of additional time. Wow. That was so, so long from the referee. But luckily, we do go in the break at 1-0 up here. So, job done first half. We're going to have to defend in the second to try and bring these points back to England and Huddersfield with us if we can do so. What's the other game in the group looking like currently? Let's have a look. Is it there? Yes, it is. PSG are beating Zenit. So, PSG, of course, lost to us on the opening day. They're going to be on three points if it stays as it is here. And Milan will be on one, so they've got a job to do, I guess. But the other games in the groups and stuff, if you're interested, are there for you all. Halftime whistle. It is 1-0 Huddersfield. I'm going to make a change here, though, because I do think that I'm going to need to make my uh, my players stay as fit as possible for this one. So I'm going to actually bring off Smolov. I don't want to risk injury to him. We're going to bring on Alexander Isaac, which might be a mistake. We'll see. And I'm also going to bring on Hill for a performance at the San Siro and an appearance at the San Siro. Let's see if our young star can do it for us, both in Isaac and Hill, actually. Both very young, remember. So... Yeah, two young players coming on for us. Putting our faith in the boys here. Let's see if they can repay it. Rashford, Barbaraman. Where is Isaac? He's on the edge of the area. Don't look for him, though, because it's come to Hill. Uh, somehow, Little Hill has won the header, and it's gone straight into the hands of Donnarumma, who's not really had the most difficult of time saving that, let's just say. It was a fairly easy save. In fact, other than the goal itself, it hasn't really been too much of a difficult day for him. He, the, the shots we've had... They've been pretty much straight at him. And then the, go and the goal we scored, obviously, was a good finish. But other than that, we've done pretty... Oh, no, 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 no. Milan, Milan are building something here. It's not good. We need to get this one. Oh, it's going to go in. It's going to go in. It's off the woodwork. Are you kidding me? How lucky have we just got there? And there is another save. Wow. I just could not get them off it. I don't know what was going on there. I tried so hard to make a tackle. And I just could not get them off the ball. That's dangerous. Bonaventura, great turn, and the strike is less than good. Oh, dear. He's not really had the, the best game in the world. He did get the assist for, uh, for, for uh, what is it, Ince's goal. But other than that, he's had a, a weird game back. He's missed a couple of opportunities. So, 
He's going to get a uh, substitute now, and it's going to be actually Munier coming on to replace him. He did what he had to do. He got the assist for us, and his job is effectively done here. Now it's up to us to see the rest of this game out. Milan, of course, hitting the woodwork not so long ago. Doesn't give me the most confidence in the fact that I don't think I can defend against them. We'll see. What was the touch from Rob Holding, by the way, guys? I pressed A instantly. As soon as I saw Rob Holding get that, if they score from this, I'm going to be so tilted. Thank God. As soon as Rob Holding got that ball, I pressed A to lay it across to the right-hand side. And for some reason, he took a touch. I don't get this game sometimes. It takes touches when it shouldn't do. Munier, take this in the corner, son. Never mind. He's got a pass on to Isaac. Isaac through. Straight at Donnarumma. Twice. No. That was the chance for two. It doesn't matter because we've got the victory. So we do come away from the San Siro with three points. But how good would it have been to come away with a 2-0 win than just a 1-0 win? And to be honest, a fairly lucky 1-0 win because look at the match facts. It was fairly close. Milan having seven shots. Only one on target, though, which is uh, disappointing from then. PSG winning in Zenit, though. So they do pick up three points themselves, which now moves on to six for the group, as I say. So we're topping the group still, which is a bonus. Um, in a group that's otherwise going to be a very tough group. So I don't know, quite know how we're doing this, but we are doing it. And that's the most important thing. I'm going to sim this game against Fulham, guys. And that's where we'll end the episode off for today. And uh, apparently I've got to do a, um, a what do you call it? Uh, what is it? A international team call-up thing. I can't remember what it's called. Registration of the squad. That's it. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave it because I don't really care. I only went with Brazil to see what their team actually looked like, just to see. So, uh, yeah, that's why I picked Brazil. But Wolves have shown interest in purchasing Scott Malone. Uh, I'm going to let him go because we've got a fair few left backs now that I don't feel as though we need to keep hold of him. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that deal for Scott Malone. 2.6 million, please. Yes, please. All right, guys, I'm going to play our strongest possible team for this one against Fulham. And I'm going to go ahead and sim this now. Hopefully we'll get the victory. Hopefully we'll get the points on the board and we'll see if we can do that right now. I'm surprised, actually, that Fulham are in the Premier League, to be honest. Their team is OK. They've got Anthony Knockout in the side and a few other people. Aqua scored. His second league goal of the uh, the season here. And it is going to be 2-0 now with Rob Holding added a second. Uh, have we got another one in us? Have we got a third in us possibly? Like Smolov or something. But never mind because Mudiay has come on for him. Rashford has added a third. But we don't get a clean sheet because Fulham do score. Smolov though was substituted out for some reason. I don't know why. So anyways, 3-1 win. That's how we end today's episode off. If you did enjoy it guys, a like, rate, and regret. greatly appreciated. I'm just butchering my words right now. I, yeah, I probably need to go back to sleep. Like, seriously, I'm not doing too well uh, in terms of my speaking today. But regardless, we're in fourth place and uh, it's looking okay for us. Top in the Champions League group. Arsenal down in 15th, Liverpool down in 16th. What is going on there? I do not know. So I'll see you all hopefully for another video from 4 p.m. tomorrow, guys. Don't miss it. Thank you for your continued spot on the channel. I really do appreciate it. I'll catch you all then. Adios.